be adjusting and making this actually a stronger sight for them. It looks like we are getting into this one. Is this the pistol straight away? It is the pistol okay, straight well. away. So, Yanko, you can be dismissed. I apologize that we just... Unless you, yeah, unless you want to stay and do play-by-play. Play-by-play. They're watching drop and I'm gone. No, <laughs> not happening. Devil <laughs> is watching the drop, though. That much is correct. He's fallen off it, though. It's a passive set now from Envious, who elect to go with all five on armor. No kits. And Screen going to take down MEK to start it off. G2, great start, in fact, because they've also got RPK to drop Apex. And this is a great position for them to be in with the bomb down, having the advantage again, no kits. So it just is a matter of holding off, even just for the amount of time needed. Envious, but Kenny S, Devil with okay. two, get back into this as it all comes down to just body. And he's going to get taken down by Kenny. Wow, so... It's looking like a very promising start for G2 there, getting the kills and the bomb down as well, but a lovely retake coming in there, and Devil stepping up tremendously. Nice P2000 kills and Kenny to finish things off, so it's 1-0 on the CT side of Envious. And G2 do get the bomb down, so you'd assume they'll be buying up next round in the third with the AK-47s, but there it is. We expected G2 to almost run away with this in terms of what we've seen recently, but we know Envious have been coming out on social media recently, Matt, and saying they're not giving up, they want to make this lineup work, they're not just going to... Change the, change the roster and I kind of give up. They're going to actually work at it. And I think they obviously have the talent there. This, this line has been proven time and time yeah, again. absolutely. So it's a matter of balancing personalities, getting the roles back in play. Yeah. Keep an eye on Happy today because he is the one who's very good at lurking on this map at the drop. He kind of established that that was a, a viable situation that you could do for a lot of teams. Again, meta-defining, but he's also been a problem in, in some aspects as of late because he's oh. been so slow on his lurks. But Scream starts it off. Devil goes down behind the statue. A good deagle play, and Body's gone inside the site. Try and hold this back. And RPK's got at least one on the happy, but it's a good response. NBK Swift with the MP9, and Kenny, well, he's had a good start to this match as well. Heavy stuff so far, but it's going to be envious bouncing back. Comes down to a two versus one. Still screen with that Ezzard Eagle. Finally taken down by Apex there. So there it is. Second round has been gathered by MVS. It got a bit interesting there towards the start with the screen headshot. But looks to be a decent round for G2. They've done significant damage to the economy of MVS there. Taking down three rifles with them. And definitely, and another plant as well, man. Means they're going to have such a strong buy going into the final, well, the first gun round, I should say, yeah. But uh, here we go then. Here it is. AKs have arrived. No orbs at either side yet. But... Uh, it's going to be nice, healthy grenades as well for G2. We'll see how they approach yeah. this. I talked about Envious just falling into this. Like It's quite predictable what they do on the A site. Kenny there alone most of the time. Teams are starting to exploit that now, but we'll see how they approach this situation. G2 now sending most of the team, actually all five players, it seems, towards the B-bomb site. Actually going for the straight-up rush here. Incendiary's dropped. Who's going to get this first frag as they make their way in? And his devil at least finds one. Again, dancing behind the statue. He's got an assist on the NBK's two kills. Apex has two of his own. Brilliantly done. Envious hold on. First gun away from G2. And Envious looking very solid on that B position. The retake and the pistol impressive. And that hold very, very effective. Well, G2, obviously, like I said, they got a lot of kill. They got a lot of kills in those second and third rounds. So they are hoping that their Envious economy would be a lot, little less uh, swelled than it was. They didn't expect the incendiaries to be dropped straight away. Went for a straight up B rush there. Needed to find early frags going in. But unfortunately, it was just a decent crossfire from Envious capitalizing. And it's going to be 3-0 in favor of the former world champions. Bouncing back, Matthew. Are you it's believing this? It's a is large it? former. Uh, I'm not. No, stop. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Not too soon? One online match? Come on. Come on. You've got to have some faith. All right. Well, if they win Malmo. Okay. Then, then, you're, then you're back on board. Then I'm back you're back on, on the hype train. They make it to the semis in Malmo. NBK going to take down Body, the new member of G2. Scream that's going to be walking in again with just the Deagle. And MBK is waiting in the open mind. So he needs to be slipped about this because any flash down could have gone for a quick refrag. MBK, MBK will get it with the Tech 9, not before losing two of his teammates. And Happy will come in to fi finish him off, clean him up. And Apex there. So 4 nothing Envious. One of the things I do like about Envious's cobble is MBK on the CT side. He can be very strong in that drop down room. Time and time again, he's proven himself to be a very valuable asset for his side in that position. So. He picks up a few frags out, obviously against the upgraded pistols, but still 4-0 in favor of Envious now. We go into the next gun round, it's Smith's. I called him up before, he impressed me yesterday with the AWP. He's currently on 0 for 4, but now he has got the AWP. Same story for Kenny S as well. This battle, you'd assume on paper, would be favoring Kenny, but current form would not suggest going into it. I guess if you talk about Kenny, like the team's been playing bad, but Kenny's actually been stepping up quite a lot for his team. It's not like he's been the problem. He is finding frags. Another tight situation, isn't it? 
Wow, that's what I'm thinking. Poor Kenny. It's like AZ when he goes over to phase. Hey, welcome aboard. You've been playing sick on Dignitas. Can you just top frag while we all suck again? <laughs> well, that's pretty vicious then, huh? That's all right. It was a true point. I'm not saying it's a permanent you know, description of those teams. I'm just saying that that was the situation at the time. All right. Good backpedaling. It's not backpedaling. It's truth. You're the one who backed me into the corner. I just stated facts. <laughs> 4-0 now. And we can see... G2 slowing things down. They've got control of long A as well and towards middle. It's actually a change of setup here for Envious. As I was saying before, they normally have pretty poor reading of the game, but it's actually Apex coming back in. RPK gets dropped. As that's an audacious face from Apex, but he does manage to make it work from 5 and 4 now, continuing their form as Scream actually getting pressured here. I don't think he expects this. It's Apex who finds a second as well. Lovely stuff from him. Now they can fall back. They don't need to do any more work here. It'd be crazy to try and face any more angles here, but it looks like they will be doing just that. I'll be falling back from middle slightly. And now it's up to Shocks. And he's drop down. He's going to get caught out by Happy. Well, it's Body that's going to take down Apex. It's the only kill so far for G2. But Smiths is still alive. He's got Happy. Devil's position, though, because the ball might be down at the bottom of mid. But he's going to try and go around and catch out Smiths. The problem is that his timing, thankfully, MBK's there. Because Smiths, if he grabbed that... A chance to run it back toward B. Good kill. He's brought this down. Just two remaining, but Devil's going to come back into this. And Smith's not at all aware. Time's up. Not only that, he's going to die after the time. The op's gone. That means you get no money. You can have a look at Smith's screen right now. $200. And he was the author, of course. So he didn't save that. That would have been great. But uh, it's another very convincing round for Envious there. They're actually looking a little bit more aggressive. It seems like they found their mojo finally. Facing towards the middle and going for hunting for kills and utilizing that. Sick fraggers they have available as Apex has stepped up that round. Double orb set up this time, so Kenny S and Happy will be setting up turrets on either side of the map. This is the classic setup I was mentioning before. Kenny S will be going towards Danger looking for that first pick. Devil listening out for footsteps. All five players, 4G2 towards that side of the map, will be flashing through and trying to swarm the bombsite here. Happy just staring this down right now from behind the statue. Devil again that finds one. Happy's pe peaked at the right time. Spots another toward the arch, but can't find the angle. It's RPK inside of the site. Now Happy overwhelmed has shocks come out from drop because they go passive. And nobody relays that memo toward his teammate because suddenly he's left in the open. But Apex does get RPK back. And it comes to a two versus two. These tech nines have done a reasonable job. They still have the bomb up. And yeah. Smiths is going to try and do some backpedaling, as he would say, Henry. Yeah, the tech nines, they'll get you if you're not careful. Two on two now. But the weaponry advantage is still heavily in favor of Envious. G2 unable to salvage a rifle just yet. They have got the bomb on towards Smiths and a smoke grenade as well. But Kenny S ready for this. Oh, that's a shot I thought he was going to hit. It does get things in the process. Smoking off the balcony now. Actually staying here as well. This is quite clever, you know. This is look how far they push Kenny what? back. Okay, they just come back and shoot the smoke anyway. Shocks gets him through the smoke. Two on one now. Apex in a horrible position as they have managed to get the bomb plants in the process. Apex nades out, does do decent damage onto Shocks. It'll help him with the M4, which doesn't have the high damage potential that the AKs do, but it's Tech 9, he's against Crossfire set, Shocks holds it, and G2. Now, again, similar situation to what we saw in the first game this morning. Winning their first round, but putting a reset into what was an eco for them. So look at the buy. Look at their money post-buy. Well, Scream will be dropping an AWP as well, so it's not going to be fantastic after that, so... They will be able to do something with this round. They need to start getting a couple of rounds together, though. After this, $1,400 will mean another eco coming in. It's a change of setup here, though, for Envious. This is what I was talking about. They actually look like they've got some new tricks up their sleeve here. Three players towards long A. And it's going to be Kenny S with them as well. They're going to have to be challenged by Smith with the AWP. And we'll see whether they can bounce back after that second round. Oh, my God. It's a great start there. Envious kicking things off with two frags towards long A. Once again, can afford to fall back to the bomb site now. But that crossfire working out so efficiently. Not even dropping a single bit of damage in the process. So now three players towards of G2 towards the B bomb site. And uh, not really many options here. Body needs to find something with this as he's going in first. Devil's the one behind the statue that's waiting for this entry. He's been fairly decent so far early on in this game. Spots out. Has to hit the shot. Can't do it early. But does manage it. Down to 8 HP is the problem. As RPK, he knows, has crossed over behind the boxes as well, and RPK's got the lineup. He's got more than that in front of him, but it's NBK that's going to take him down. Four stay alive for Envy, and it's a full reset coming in now for G2. Yeah, they could force this again if they wanted to. You can see Smiths and RPK have got 3,400 and 2,800. So they could do something with this. I would say take the full eco and try and uh, 
spread the wealth in the next round, but Envy is really coming to life now. I'm not going to be using the double orb setup for now. Just Kenny S back on that weapon as we go into round number eight. Is this a full force buy? I think it is. So they've gone for Tech Nines. Wow. It was late. So we've got, we got RPK on $1,900 still, but uh, this is being almost certainly an eco coming in. But here we go then. Kenny S, Apex. Lighting up the scoreboard here. The scream does answer back, but the bomb has been dropped, so they are going to be able to rotate here. The CTs in full control of this situation. Two players remain for G2, and happy with great control of the map here. You'd have thought he would get that kill all day long, but somehow doesn't land it. And Scream gets one back. He has gone down to 48 HP, though. They have got the bomb as well, so still a small chance of taking this one, but got their work cut out for them, I have to say. Scream goes all the way back to T-spawn. Wrapping the long way to beat. Perhaps thinking someone might be occupying the tunnels, but a minute to play with. Needing at least one kill on entry as they've divided up. Two players over toward long A, searching still for information, but it is going to be NBK that waits at this arch. Scream's got him in incendiary. Yes, perfect play. If he was this. to actually drop this, this could be perfect, but actually NBK does move in time, so that possibility is eradicated. They are smoked out as well, giving their position away. Yeah, and the problem is that smoke, which is going to delay them, is also going to call for the rotation, which means the chance to isolate NBK has gone. Flash down, RPK looking over top of the drop already. And they're committed now as well, so RPK needs to do something with this. They're going to be sitting between drop down and upper. It's going to come down to RPK to find his first frag, but NBK is watching him like a hawk. Does a lot of damage there, but finally gets the kill, and now it's just up to scream. Gets the first headshot. Ten seconds to play with. Going to be flashing off and going for the frags here. It is still easily dealt with as Scream covers the angle on the cross. Or rather, excuse me, Devil covers the angle onto Scream. Names backwards. Dyslexic. I have a dog com complex. Yes, you do. Do you get it? Yes. All right, good. It's quite quite good for you. That's um, seven plays one. GT made it interesting, at least. They did force buy into that round with the Tech Nine's head armor. Didn't really have to use the utility too much. Just found the Tech Nine kills once again, but. Seven plays one now, and they're gonna be on another eco here. Just upgraded pistols, Tech 9, Desert Eagles, and PT-50. Boost coming in towards drop down. Gonna be happily taken up then. He gets the first kill on towards shocks as well. Still gonna be battling towards middle. That's Apex, but he is found by body. He's by himself, so no reflex coming in. They will be able to salvage a weapon here. That's Smith. Picks up the M4 with four HP. You'd assume we'll be swapping that over to a teammate here, but looks like he actually wants to do something happen this. I would say that's a little bit silly. Could have given that back to a teammate and actually had the chance. He's gonna like scream to try and get some taps there, but it's MBK. Going absolutely nuts. He does find four frags, all with the MP9 as well. Farms a lot of cash in the process there. He now has eight and a half thousand dollars. So here we go then. It's still money not fully stabilized for G2. Can't get the AWP just yet, but he will have AKs, armor, and uh, of course the nades as well. Eight one for Envious to start things off on cobblestone. The CT side, no less. Absolutely so. Kenny S, AWP. Right, toward long, two rifles with him too. Get him in a better position. Devil going to be watching out toward long again this time. Seems like they're finally getting Devil into comfortable positions. Certainly in this map, he's found his foot because he's been able to at least answer on the trades. This time it's a one for one again. Now, although the trade favors the T side, it does slow them enough for MBK to turn back. But Scream has two of his own. And finally, a chance to get the bomb planted. It's going to be the flank rotation coming in from Envious based on their positionings out toward long A. They're going to have to be quite quick about this. Well, they have got the entry kills required, and now the CT's rotating in. They are watching all the correct angles. They're not rushing the situation. They want to make sure the bomb is planted at the correct time. And there it is. Shocks takes on Apex. They've got a real strong chance as well. Kanyes on the retakes. Actually happy from the upper ramp. It does take down Shocks with him. So two on two. They have got kits. This kill's going to be huge. It's screwing to take him down. Now happy left in the 2v1 situation. It is very good in these clutches, but I think this might be a stretch too far. There it is. Scream with another headshot there. Four kills this round, Matt. And this guy goes off. It's always very impressive. And that tree area boosted up after getting those entry frags as well. So lovely stuff from him. But once again, the reset is ever looming. So they have to fully reset into this. And they're going to be having a lot of grenades purchased. So Envy is still with a hot chance of getting two rounds and forcing G2 on another double eco. Kenny going to hold the top of middle this time. Slight gap in that cobblestone, he'll take advantage of it. Apex already going passive on long as well. That's going to give up the position which G2 slowly trying to evaluate and figure out if they can take advantage of bomb. Over toward the B tunnel as they also look at drop and body. 
Wants to do damage to his old teammate, Devil, who's been playing in that position throughout the entirety so far of the half. It's G2 once again, focusing towards our long A area. They have got full control of it once again, so I'm talking about pushing the CTs back. It's Kenny S holding this position towards the top of the middle. He is very good at getting frags from this point, so it's quite a defensive position. Once you get the kill, you are, always are falling back, and it's all down to whether you hit that first shot. But now G2 repositioning themselves back towards B. Smith has got the AWP this time as well, so you'd assume here we're going towards the upper platform, trying to work the pick. He's slowly edging in. Oh, devil, that's an audacious face. Not one I would recommend, especially if you're not really having backup from the teammate, but it's going to be Scream getting his next kill. Five versus three now. Body's taking down to low HP. MDK needs to step up here. Drops a bomb. Spraying. Doing what he can, but it's not quite enough. Three plays two now. Advantage in favor of G2. As you say that, though, Kenny S finds a kill on towards Smiths. And they're split right now. The problem is that Body has the bomb, but he's only got six HP, so it's all too easy. You would say for Happy, who shoulder peeks, spots him, and then goes back in. It was like he was planned not to respond, but it does give Kenny a chance to chill, try and catch out. Scream, not gonna happen. We know him for, yeah, whatever. <laughs> we did that joke to death yesterday, so. Eight to three now, reset avoided, but they still have a large reinvestment based on the fact that they lost three members, so. And this will be forced on the pistols. This is G2's chance back into the half. Yeah, in terms of economy, this is a great chance to stabilize everything. Finally, they have broken MVS as well. They're just gonna be having Desert Eagles and some P250s here. No real stack coming in from what I can see at the moment. This could be a default setup. And it looks like G2 maybe just going for a straight up B play here. All five players towards the upper ramp, sticking together. Buddy system going to be used effectively. And Devil, just as a Desert Eagle. This would be an absolute masterclass if you could find anything from this. Good start though for Scream again, this time to find Devil in return. But he's gone down to 26, and the Deagle finding one before that looks all right, trying the flank. Happy's found by Shocks. He doesn't know there's two coming though, and Kenny's able to tap away and get him with the P250. That's going to give up an AK, so RPK, already considering the options that this is now a retake possibility, has turned back, and thankfully Body will turn down and find Apex. I haven't said Body's name much in terms of getting kills so far, but G2 struggling to find rounds early. There it is. They do get their fourth though, so it's going to be A place for now, but Envious will have enough to buy into this round. I don't think they'll be the best buy. You can see, I think, as Apex is on low money. He's going for the 5-7 and head armor here. It's, uh, I'd say, uh, I'd take the risk and not have the head armor like the rest of his team are doing, considering the situation. But we have got the all back onto Kenny S, who has been doing playing relatively well on the A site and doing well in his rotations as well. Let's see what GT brings to the table this time. They have had a lot of success towards this long A area, getting control of that, falling back towards B. It's uh, pretty much textbook CS in terms of how to play this map. Happy they're going for the face of this flashbang from danger. Not going to spot anything for it though, but RPK is aware of his position now. This frag is going to be huge. It's going to be happy getting the first one, but answered back straight away by RPK. So one for one. Terrorists trying to exploit that fact. MBK going to rotate back over. Has to go passive. Already one player in stables, RPK. And MBK, I don't think, spotted that. So he's gonna look up toward Hut, and RPK has this angle held right now. Watches him as he drops down, but can't find the shot. NBK still alive, Devil finds the shot on his miss, and with Bomb now down, is gonna shuffle, gets off the ledge, goes back down in the smoke, and he gets the second shot onto RPK as well. It's on the body, finds two, but immediately taken down after. Oh, there and it Apex is. Apex gets three kills in that round. Massive stuff from him, and they pick up the double orb setup as well, so they go back to that for the last two rounds. Money still in a difficult times for G2. You can see three players, I think, will be on pistols here. Actually, Smith can buy an AK as well. So, G2 Tech 9's coming in. It's going to be Shocks and Body. Shocks still yet to buy. Has he got a gun drop for him? Is he going Glock? I mean, Shocks has the least amount of kills in the server right now, so he doesn't deserve a gun, Henry. I'm going to say, if you get a Glock there, that's uh, pretty bad times for him, but he has a great deal of PT50 here. Five men towards B once again. They're hoping Scream can make something happen here. The a happy finds him. He's got a flashbang effectively onto the site though, and it's looking like Envious stepping up once again though. Shocks does find the kill onto Happy, but still a three on two in favor of Envious. RPK now gonna look inside of the site. Smoke deployed, front of Kenny S at the rock. Flash over top of that as well. Those are thrown by Shocks, who apparently not buying a gun. Doesn't matter because he's picked up the AK. See if he can finally get some openings with it. RPK, good shot, good accuracy, but taken down. Shocks does get Apex, but it's Kenny with the AWP that's now left in the one-on-one -on -one from afar. And the bomb dropped inside of the statue. Kenny just has to hold the angle, and Shocks needs to find a way to get across safely. And as he goes, Kenny, well, flower pot to save him. 
Let's go for the shooting practice. The Nain takes shots down to 38, though. So Kenny's got an option to go for the pistol here. Try and get closer. One more shot with the AWP into the smoke. And he's going to hold on to that a little bit longer. Flash goes over to the right. Shock sees it last minute. Looks away. Kenny's desperate, hoping that he's going to pop out. Shox is playing this so passively, and he'll take advantage of the smoke at the last possible second to look to get an escape up toward the B-long position. Potentially try and get away on this, but Kenny wants to hold it. Kenny wants to get inside of that smoke. The spray is going to discourage him. He hasn't found the kill yet. Kenny goes for the face. Hits the shot, but does he have the time? He does. The kit's going to do this. Kenny, what a brilliant play. Lovely stuff from him. Very patient. He didn't want to overextend that. Obviously, with the AWP, those situations where you've got a player behind smoke and stuff, he did get the nade onto him and got him down to 38 HP, but he wasn't aware how much damage he did there. Forced him back and towards the platform area. The fake defuse comes in with the smoke as well. It's actually really effective because had he had died there, obviously, it would have been a bit of a blunder. But the fact he stayed alive and forced shocks out of position didn't really give too much away in terms of what was going on. He manages to pick up the round. It's 10-4 now in favor of MVS. They hit double figures here on the CT side of Cobble. But G2 getting a plan down. Do have decent cash to work with at least. They have Tech Nines and AKs. It has boosted what would have been a horrible round. But here we go then. Final round of the first half. It's looking like that three man setup towards Long A once again. It's Apex going aggressive. Gets the first kill. Looking for a double here. Not really happening as Smith takes him down. Shocks finds a kill on the Devil as well. Slows things down considerably as Kenny falls back down through the stables. Smoke deployed late by him is going to be doubled up by NBK. It's just Flash is now left on Envious's side. Smith's on the Tech 9, is the 6 HP player. He can afford to be a martyr if he has to in these situations. He can afford to try and find the information. They're going to flash NBK in. They want to try and offset this difference immediately in NBK. It's good positioning. This is yeah, very good considering how late in the round it is, but... His gun barrel, Smith, doesn't peek it, thankfully. And his MBK is actually going to fall off of that. If he stayed, I dare say he would have had a kill at least walk toward him. And now he's going to get caught out. Headshot as well. So despite he gets Smith, who was at six, he's damaged, weakened significantly, and Body's able to just drop him. Yeah, three on two now. Now the terrorists trying to make their way to the bomb site. The problem is they have got Kenny S waiting for them to cross. They haven't got the smoke. They have got a Molotov, but they use it on the bomb site. It's probably the worst place to use it, considering the position of Kenny S. The flashbang is effective, though, so RPK gets in a decent position. They have made their way onto the bomb site, though, so it will be planted, but happy in Kenny S on the retake. The bomb goes down, but RPK gets Kenny immediately when he jumps back in. Happy's going to try, but he's caught out by shocks through the vent. So 10 plays 5 at the half. G2 starting off extremely slow. Took them five rounds just to pick up one. Do manage to string together, excuse me, four out of the last six. So. That's when Scream was just kicking off at that point. Those entry frags he was getting towards uh, the latter stages at half were absolutely insane. Some four man, three mans, and clutch situations going in their favor. But ultimately, Envious hitting double figures on the CT side of Cobble, that's pretty massive for them. And it's looking like a very successful Cobble campaign so far. Pistol will mean everything for G2. They need to make sure they get this. As we go into the second half now, we'll have a look at the buy coming in. CTs. GT normally go for five sets of armor, you know, looking like that may happen this time. Body will be picking up the diffuse kits and the two flashbangs. We'll have a look at Envious as well. Four sets of armor and Apex with the smoke grenade. So normally, they've got actually a, a couple of pistol rounds they'd like to run Envious. So they'd have the one where they smoke off towards Chicken Coop and split the B-bomb site. But it looks like they're actually changing that completely this time, actually rushing towards Long A with four players. We'll see how this one goes down for them. Smith's falling back to their bomb, so here's the footsteps. And they haven't really got the utility to hold them off. Let's see how this one goes down. RPK. It's like they're all around the world. So they've rushed all the way to Long A, pushed the CDs I back. I see them go back around the world. Let me call it toilet bowl. Okay. Because then the water just keeps spinning, you know? Get okay. it? Yeah, yeah. Cool. But if Renegades did it, it would go the other direction. Yep, different hemisphere. Scream flashed off, though, so you're right. It is backed over to the B site. They try and force that rotation, but it's red. And G2's back in good position, not to mention Scream, still out towards the chicken coop. It's 3-2 in the trades, though, as Happy finds two very quickly in RPK and Smiths. And MDK, he's going to close down the last man in the site. Leaves body to try and rotate back in through the doorway, but never really had much ground. An orthodox pistol, I have to say. I don't see that much these days. Rushing four players towards long A, pushing the CDs back, then instantly going back from danger and all the way back towards B. It's obviously worked very effectively there, but... Uh, like I said, Envious normally do a slow-paced B play, and they normally smoke off Chicken Coop and just make their way in with flashbangs, but there it is. 11 plays 5. GC will be forcing up into this second round. 
Deagles and CZs can be very effective at close range, especially on a map like the Cobble Screen going aggressive towards long A here. Does get things as well. It's going to be Kenny has to pick up the kill with the MAC-10 and takes him down. I think Arbicare is trying to salvage the Desert Eagle, perhaps he's only got a 5-7. We'll be just deciding to fall back here. Man advantage in favor of MVSA. So. Kenny refacing though in RPK. He's there, gets the shot with the 5-7. There's no need. That distance with an SMG. Yeah, that's definitely not required. That's just a 50-50 play, facing it in that sort of range, but Happy does find the kill back. And he'll be making his way to the B side as well, looking to cause more. There's just so many one on X situations here for Envious. This is such a big game for them. And they are going to rectify it with Devil taking out RPK. That should be the round secured, but a lot of questionable decisions. Very much so. Shocks, though, back over crossing past the vet. Blown out by Apex, trying to get some damage into him as early as possible. Shocks is going to pursue it. He follows in his footsteps, but it's not going to do him any good. And Envious now, 12 rounds onto the five that G2 accumulated in the first half. Well, this will be a full eco as well coming in, so you can assume it's going to be 13 plays five. G2 just have to take this on the chin, take a full eco here. RPK gets a P250 and Scream and the rest of his teammates will just be on absolutely nothing here. As we're going to round number 18. Apex will be the recon player. He has the MP7. He's aware of the situation. He can probably throw himself into the bomb sites first and call if there is a stack, but Kenny S needs to be gone. He to go in first here. Screw the MP7. I want the kills with my AK. Let's see what we can do here. They're going to make their way to the side very effectively. CTs just don't really have much to work with here. Shocks is trying to kill onto Happy, but this is now far removed from the map and the action. There's a smoked out of connector as well. Kenny okay, behind the rock as well. That's a good position to hold off away from this bomb, which is being planted now. Thank you very much, Observer, to show us such. The MPK puts it down, but... Not looking good. Shocks just probably likely going to hold on to that AK-47. It's, again, as you say, money not perfect going into the first gun round. It's worth it for him to hold that. And they will slowly start to fade off of this. RPK just going to hold an off angle, hoping that maybe he can get another kill. Best case scenario, get another kill and, and another gun. Indeed. Well, they have got the AK in hand. Let's see what they can do to try and save this. It doesn't look like MBS will be hunting right now. They want to just build as much bank as they can, make sure they have lots of rounds of play with. They know G2 will have guns regardless anyway, so it's not a huge deal. It's more interesting than keeping their own weapons here. So there it is. 13 plays, five now. MVS coming close to map points. We're going to round number 19, and that saved AK does definitely help boost the economy a little bit of G2. No orp though on Smiths. We talked about him before. It looked great yesterday. He's actually on four for 17 now, Matt. So that's going to show you how different days can affect different players here. He was lights out yesterday carrying them in certain situations. We didn't see them on Cobble, to be fair. No, we did not, but this is your dead right. A different side of the coin for Smiths. Envious going for the quick execution. A couple flashes popped over. Apex going to try and advance with those now out. It's MP7 for him, so he can afford to go in early, try and get that information. Shox has the kit. That's all due to the fact that he saves the AK. He's able to bring out a little bit more utility. And they drop down the bomb. Scream with the kill. But MBK, he's gotten across. Good tap from Scream. Finds MBK again, though. And with the smoke on the alley and drop given up, he's got to go more passive, but he's going to hold the ground. They can't get across toward the bomb at all. And he's going to bring two players over his way from a site. And they'll hold from the archway inside the drop. This is smart, though. This is a way to catch them off. They wouldn't expect the boost. And Kenny, he only gets the one. Or is able to hold it. He can't keep the trigger discipline aligned. But Smiths, the man you call out, is going to clutch it in the one-on-one. -on -one. Scream just doesn't want to go down without a fight here. He's on 18 kills right now. Every situation they're up against the ropes, he seems to find kills out of nowhere. Headshots, of course. And it's going to be 13-6. But like I said before, Envious have built up a decent bankroll here. They will be forcing into this one. They actually had enough money to do a full investment, but they're actually going for the more conservative play. Something I don't think I've ever said about Envious. They're always <laughs> seem to force into every opportunity they ever get themselves into. Maybe this is a... A new approach, perhaps. A revolution. Oh, indeed. I think Happy's calling that as well. They change it from MBK, so... Got a B-Rush coming in. It's going to be Scream opening things up once again. Oh, Kenny Hesto with the Tech 9 doing some work. Oh. It's just he and Happy that remain, but he's picked up an AK, Kenny. Unfortunately for him, RPK's there, but you're dead right. Bomb plant will help. Happy pop flash off the edge of the flower pot the tree bed whatever you want to call it henry g i want to call it the tree bed tree bed yes you just like beds oh, you really want to all right i mean I'm i mean, on the floor I mean when you're asleep and you're not oh, okay all right i'm sleeping on the floor tonight i'm not even i'm not even going to my own house don't worry about it it's true 
So if you want to sleep on the floor, be, be my guest. I will. That's where you feel most of the home. The 13 play seven now, envious, like I said, after getting that bomb down and actually with a conservative partial by last round, we'll have a full by this time. We can see the money for G2 Scream actually with no nades whatsoever, but it turns out he doesn't really need them. He just needs people on his, in front of him to walk into his crosshair and then drive him up. And he's down now. Rolling with the AK-47. Three players with GT towards the A side of the map as well, going for that cross-fire mentality. Kenny S is holding strong towards the top of the middle. The rest of his teammates do work towards B. MDK to be flashing through the first smoke here. There's another one waiting on the other side. Got Ardy. Trying to get a little bit more aggressive in that alleyway. But he doesn't play it in the same fashion that Devil did, that's for sure, because Devil was far more aggressive, far closer to the choke point with that hole in the wall, and they give up so passively. Passive on both approaches. If Body plays that far back, and Shox gives up that much at drop room, there has to be an answer. There has to be a game plan here, and it's just sitting ducks right now because of flash in, and Body's gone as well. Execution swift from Envious, no less, but the fact that it's just down to Smith's. One versus three, Bomb. He's dropped back in the tunnels, though. That's one thing that will buy him time. If you could find one kill, isolate out Kenny S, there might have been a chance with timing, but... Can he get the kill? I mean, that's just so passive on both sides of the, of the bomb site. Absolutely. This Apex going absolutely nuts there until his drop down gets two frags, opens that side of the map and gets the rotations as well. As you said, G2 going for a little bit of a risky play towards the A bomb site, hoping that would work out for them, but Envious reading it perfectly. And they've actually forced G2 in a difficult position now. They have got the AWP on Smiths, but it's not like he's been going big this game. It's been a very quiet affair from him. Three pistols and one M4 on towards Shocks. I think you want to give that M4 to Scream, to be honest, from what I've seen so far. It's the only real chance they've got, but he's in the CZ on the upper platform so far. Molotov's coming in, and Envious now in a very passive hold. They know what's happened here in terms of the money for G2. Smoke out. Scream playing forward of it. CZ 75 for him to try and utilize. The off angle, but Flash comes through, and he's spotted by MBK, who advances. Well-timed Flash, Envious working with each other perfectly and already Smiths with an AWP looking to save. Uh, that's pretty much all he can do here. 15-7, gonna be map point already for Envious on map one of the French Revolution. I thought you said it was like the... The French battle. <laughs> the French battle. I, I don't know. Um, oh. What other war references can we get in France? Retreating, oh, God, divide that's... and conquer? Yeah. If I can conquer, we'll go with that one. Which is what they've done to LDLC's team by taking <laughs> body and devil. That's good. Well, to be fair, I'm sure LDLC made a pretty penny out of that transaction, so I'm sure they're all right with that. Don't worry. Two very established and well-paid orcs. Well, either way, NBK. Gonna go hunting for these remaining guns. The AK that's picked up by RPK, saved into the next round. More importantly, the AWP that's in the hands of Smiths, but chances of him doing anything with it, well, he's been quiet so far in this game, that's for sure. 15 plays seven now, and they have got the orb, as you said, but they're gonna be coming in with Novas, Max Evans, AWP, and an AK and a 5-7. So you'd assume, I know Smiths actually goes off this round, which he, like you said, hasn't been doing whatsoever. This should be going 1-0 in favor of Envious. They look very good, actually. So far in the second half, G2 unable to really step up. They've won a couple of rounds here and there, but getting reset time and time again. The force is not really working in their favor. And a faster play this time. Devil leading the charge towards Long A, looking for this first frag, but the CTs are more passive this time. Not gonna be showing that three-man stack, and it's going horribly wrong. But somehow, they step up, they get the first two kills. Instantly replied, but now a three on three, and a heavy utility advantage in favor of the terrorists. And Scream, he's the only one inside of the site. He's behind the van, he's already spotted up. MBK's on five HP, so can't go for the peak immediately. He's got the bag seven, he wants the jump. Little does he know that it's five HP or he would have already faced this situation. He will now, misses it up close. Now he's gonna get taken down potentially from behind because they've wrapped in and that is unfortunate. 16-7, Envy take first map. Not what we were necessarily looking to, uh, to claim with G2. Uh, yeah, from what we saw yesterday, based on what we saw from Body, it's difficult to say how they're gonna approach every single map. Obviously bringing a new player in. Hi, what's that? I don't know. I think that's supposed to be in your ear, Matt. I think so. What I was going to say is obviously we saw them on three maps yesterday. We didn't see Cobble. Although it sounds like quite an 
uh, easy procedure, bringing one player in and say, oh, you're just going to do this. It's uh, difficult to have that much practice against a deep map plus seven to actually get him in there and actually working effectively. And it seemed like their T side, especially MBS, were just dominating them time yeah. and time again. They got five rounds eventually, but that was just down the screen, getting four or three mans as they were running into just doing simple B rushes. So I think MBS looks uh, a lot more dominating in that fashion. Also, what we forgot to mention in the pregame is that obviously Shocks spend a lot of time playing in, in this. Yeah. Uh, uh, Envia's team well, with a slightly different lineup and at some point he was also the in-game leader of the team so they know what to expect from his style of mm. in-game leading. You could see it in, in the first half as well how they were uh, in contrast to Gambit yesterday. They were spending their nades earlier and uh, they were able to, to fend off G2 initially. The first round that Envia's lost was a, an antique round basically yeah. where G2 only had a couple of Tech 9s, Deagles and, and so on and they were pretty dominant throughout that game, winning both pistols as well. And uh, MBK had a great game and he always seems to uh, play well in, in these grudge matches when, yeah. when these two teams yeah. pay, face each other. I think he always plays well on Cobble's CT side. He always looks very strong in that uh, drop-down area. Even when they're getting wrecked on that map, he seems to be the one actually finding them kills and actually holding them off that particular area. So I was actually pretty impressed with him as usual. But uh, yeah, pretty disappointing. Like I said, G2 always going to struggle on the T side of Cobble when there's a new team that's all trying to work things out. And obviously, we've got well, different things. We've removed the in-game leader from G2, right? Absolutely, so yeah. This is like completely changed things up now. So it's, it's it, kind of that's, interesting. That's an important note to make. And we, we, we kind of concluded yesterday that Shocks was the lo most likely mm. to be calling. And remember, they were the team that qualified yesterday for this league. They were not one of the invitees. But uh, Shock's calling, and maybe that showed a little bit today because he was lackluster in the first half with his killing performances, frag power. Sure. We do move to Dust 2, though. And Dust 2 has been, in my opinion, G2's best map as of, re as of late. Cloud9, okay, granted Cloud9 gave them a ton of room to push in those B tunnels, but they did it yesterday as well against Gambit. Yeah, this is one of the maps where they, like, it's more the Puggy style map. You always say it's like Dust 2. Everyone knows how to play it. You don't have to have a massive book of tactics going into it. You can just have the defaults working. Your key players can just use their gut instinct and have mid-round calls, work frags, and use the spawns as well. It's like a classic CS map in that sense that it's more deathmatch style. So this is where G2 really can come to life. And we saw it yesterday. They look great on this map. And hopefully they can replicate that form because Cobble just didn't seem like the right setting for them. Yeah, I agree, definitely. And also, as we pointed out, it's a map that Smith Syndro is playing yep. uh, a lot, plays uh, much better on it than he does on, on, on some of the sure. other maps, much more proficient with the AWP as well. We know Shocks enjoys it on the T side uh, individually, goes for those fast uh, cat takes by himself pretty mm -hmm. much and so on. And I do expect much more from G2 here, but the thing is, as you said, uh, Dust2 is a you know, really simple map as well. Yeah. And even though Envious doesn't play it right now, they have played it a bit uh, be before in the past. It is something that's easily a, a, you can easily adjust to it, right? And then when you have players like Apex, like Kenny S, mm -hmm. you know, if they get off to a good start, you could see this uh, going well for Envious. But all in all, I feel it's going to be a much closer game, at yeah. least. I feel that uh, G2 are the favorites on this one, and I would expect them to take it and take us to a third map. I think that's fair. Judging what I saw from Scream, he seems like he's in fantastic form right now. Yeah. Smith's not so much. He was actually on, what, like four kills before the end, maybe five or six. And this is Smith's map, though. This, this is just what I'm saying. Like, this is his map, but if he had posted similar sort of numbers to what we saw then, that's going to be very disappointing for yeah. them. He's going against Kenny this time. Yesterday was against Mo. Who would you rather face in an all battle? Uh, I would rather face Mo. Right, so that's my point. So this is where he can go absolutely hand against... I'd rather face Kenny because I'm the man and I just want glory, but most people would rather Mo. And you would get wrecked. <laughs> you know, you know what? I'm going to get wrecked either way, so I might as well go down against the best. It's true. You like going swinging. Down. That's enough of that. On that note, on that bombshell, we're going to take a break. When we come back, it's Dust 2, Map 2. See if G2 can climb back in. That's a lot of twos into this series and force out Map number 3. Finally, another.